The wrong direction fallacy is a reversal of cause and effect. This one I don't think is seen as much as some of the other fallacies. I don't think it's too common, but it does happen. The first one, Thrasymachus says, when fish come to the top of the lake, it causes the clouds to rain. And Adamantus points out, if these two things happen at about the same time, but it is the weather that causes the fish to come to the top of the lake. Sirius so telling Thrasymachus that if he looks closely, the weather will t start to change, and then the fish come to the top of the lake, but the fish don't come up just while it's really sunny and hot out, and then it makes it rain. That doesn't actually happen. In the second example, Thrasymachus says, that when I wake up in the middle of the night, it causes my baby to cry, even when he's in a different room. And here Thrasymachus is saying that his baby is crying immediately once he wakes up. He's not sure why that happens. Adamantus points out that I think it is your son crying that causes you to wake up. I cannot think of any reason that you waking up would actually cause your son to wake up and start crying from a different room. Adamantus thinks that's ridiculous, and it is because Thrasymachus is using the wrong direction fallacy. In the final example... Thrasymachus says, when people learn more words, it causes them to read books. Here he's noticed that a lot of smart people read a lot of books, or a lot of people who know a lot of words read a lot of books, so learning words must cause people to read books. Adamantus points out that he is once again has the cause and effect reversed. He says, learning new words may inspire some people to read books, but in general, learning new words is a consequence of reading.